and we're talking about, well, I guess we can say the MOOC industry in general. I don't know if we want to call it MOOC the space evolution. space is what I think we space. like to use. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. On the other hand, you know, the <laughs> industry actually is quite right in some mm. senses because when you're putting a MOOC together, you're in a manufacturing business. You are, mm. You're making a product. There's all of the little bits. There's all of the logistics of getting the bits all together, getting them all connected together. It's a product. Which, which requires some upkeep. It's like putting together, it is a complicated software package. Mm -hmm. So it actually is, a, you, you, if you don't sit down and plan it out as if you are planning product development, it's not gonna work. So, well, yeah. tell me the difference between the, the MOOC as, uh, if I understand correctly, MOOCs are now understood to be, be about 18 months old in their current incarnation, but I've been hearing about online learning for, what, 15, 20 years yeah. now. So yeah. w what's evolved where a MOOC is different? Well, even the term MOOC actually was coined, I want to say, around 2006, 2007 by um, Stephen Downs, George Siemens, and um, Dave Cormier. And they're at Athabasca University in Canada. And they had kind of created this idea of the massive open online course. Um, they didn't, never had the traction. I don't think they have quite the um, cultural cachet of a Stanford. Um, and Andrew Ng and Daphne Kohler and Coursera and like kind of this big name, big media kind of thing that, um, that came up around the current MOOCs. But the idea of the MOOC is not particularly new. And actually there's a lot of, um, I mean, it's really the scale and it's the, um, and the particular institutions that are aligned with the MOOCs that I think has been the big difference. It's the fact that it's Stanford and Harvard and MIT and, um, and Ber Cal Berkeley are getting involved in this space. That's what's been the really big revolution. The technology has been here for a while. The idea's kind of been here for a while, but it kind of took that, that catalyst of having a, a place like a Stanford and a Harvard and, a, and an MIT getting involved.